Why Nigerians shake as Trump promises to send $2 trillion worth of military equipment to Iran? Following the order of and killing of the head of Iran elite court force, Qasem Soleimani, the Iranian government has sent a message to revenge back to the U.S. government, declaring their intention to vengefully return the favor to which the U.S. President Donald Trump has given a disturbing reply. Just yesterday, Donald Trump went on white Twitter spree, giving the Iranians a historical background and also went ahead to refresh their minds on how it all began. He tweeted, they attacked us and we hit back. If they attack again, which I would strongly advise them not to do, we will hit them harder than they have ever been hit before. Iran is talking very boldly about targeting certain U.S. assets as revenge for a riding the word of their terrorists, reading the word of their terrorist leader who had just killed an American and badly wounded many others, not to mention all of the people he had killed over his lifetime, including recently. Hundreds of Iranian protesters, he was already attacking an embassy and preparing for additional aid in other locations. Iran has been nothing has been nothing but problems for many years. Let this serve as a warning that if Iran strikes any Americans or American assets, we have targeted 52 Iranian sites representing the 52 American hostages taken by Iran many years ago, some at a very high and important to Iran and the Iranian culture, and those targets are Iran itself, will be hit very fast and very hard. The USA wants no more threats. And just this morning, it continued again. The United States just spent $2 trillion on military equipment. We are the biggest and by far the best in the world. If Iran attacks an American base or any American, we will be sending some of that brand new beautiful equipment their way and without hesitation. Hmm, this is no longer being so. Is this not the third day signs of the World 3? Wow. If this war happens, though, between us and Iran, is Nigeria safe at all? Wow, what do you guys think? Hmm. So, guys, uh, we've heard it all from uh, Donald Trump. He's just advising them not to take any drastic action. If you look at the antecedents of the man that was taking, taking out, you know, what he has been doing over the years, according to what the U.S. government is saying, especially the president, Donald Trump, what the man has been up to for a very long time. And even recently, people uh, who are, he has even taken down. So he's warning them, just telling, try to tell them that they have all it takes for them to eat them back and it will affect them more. That is exactly what they are talking about. So I don't even know what is going to happen, whether they are going to come on round table or maybe those guys will just like hold their, hold their peace and know how to go round about the whole thing because everybody knows the antecedents of what has been happening and was antecedent of some people but it's just very unfortunate that uh, in nigeria you know some people are crying more than they believed more than they believed and it's not going to uh, speak very well of us if we don't even put ourselves where it contains us just uh, recently the igp in nigeria the police, Adamu, has already, you know, placed his men all around the country to avoid any form of casualties. Just like the way some people came out some days ago and started protesting. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? Protesting on two words. Whatever that happened did not affect any of your person, did not affect anybody in your country, they did not come to your country in the first place. So I see no reason why they are, uh, they were doing, they are doing a, solidarity protest in the first place and you know everything that comes to us is always upside down people will complain about religion that religion is you know bastardized but it's not that is that is not the way it ought to be because everything people seem things that will come to us will turn it upside down will begin to make a lot of uh, excuses will begin to put a lot of sentiment in all of those things that's why a lot of people don't really even know what to believe when you talk about a, a civilization we will take it upside down you talk about uh, education, we take everything upside down. 
more than the way it ought to be or, or the way other people who have been practicing it in their own place they will be complaining who will be complaining that oh a religion is one thing that uh, is not really is not our whatever that some people brought it is a white man this thing ask yourself the way the man, white man is practicing the religion is that the same way we are practicing our own because we have modeled everything up you hear a lot of atrocities going on in all those uh, religious bodies whether uh, Muslims or Christians so we just need to find our own roots and not cry more than the bereaved and that is what is happening now exactly th the same thing has been transferred to this issue that happened in iran and it's between those two countries far far away from nigeria so why do we want to create problems for ourselves so whether it's going to affect nigeria or not we should just stay on our lane that is just my own opinion everybody should stay on their own lane you've heard it and everybody has gotten the message so let the, the government do the needful. They should not just wait, not until when it comes to issue issues like this that they are supposed to be proactive. They will not proactive, but people who are not really harmful, who are really going their own way, who are really saying the truth, those are the people they will, you know, reserve all their energies for, which is not supposed to be. So they better do uh, the right thing. Just like uh, the, you know, they need to do more, just like uh, the IGP has really, you know, placed his men all over order to be on a last nationwide a last in nigeria so they should just be able to do more than that so that what does not affect us or does not have any relationship with us should not come and be affecting us that is just my own opinion they should just do the needful and someone says uh, nigeria is safe in jesus name what is the nigerian government's business concerning iran we are less concerned please don't draw nigeria into this uh, this whole issue, if the Fulani wanted to support Iran, they should go. But 99% of Nigerian citizens is less concerned about Iran and American problem. If you are doubting whether Nigeria is safe, why is Nigeria poke nose into what did not concern them? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Someone says, someone says, those protesting here in Nigeria for what doesn't concern them should be prosecuted. God will not allow what to happen now. If it happens, it will affect the whole world and not only in Nigeria. Not only Nigeria. Trump, why not diverting it to Nigeria to wipe a book for a analysis SME and mandatory? We need it urgently. They should fight there. Their fight. Also, they should come help us eradicate Hesme and Boko Haram. No now, if a uh, if uh, because it concerns them that directly, that's why they are they are they are, they are giving attention but since uh, we are sovereign country we are sovereign states just like a uh, family additional users used to say nobody's coming to help you unless you invite them they can only advise you they can only you know tell you some things to do if you don't take it because this this arrogance is already there we are a sovereign country we are a sovereign country and see your environment nothing to write to me about see the way your people are living from hand to mouth nothing is happening then you'll be boasting that you are a sovereign country. Yes, yeah, they are a sovereign country, big country because they are benefiting from Nigeria. The so called uh, what what do they call them? The so called elites or the politicians or the public uh, government officials. They are the one enjoying Nigeria, so they can afford to say, Oh, we are a sovereign country, we are this, we are that. And someone say here, Trump shouldn't make a threat at the precipice of impeachment. He has gotten himself out of media spotlight. Relax, bro. Iran should be careful not to allow pride and arrogance destroy her. That is what somebody is saying there. Just like I said initially, that they should just know how to go about the whole thing because everybody knows the antecedents of everybody. We don't need to start a, a talking about it. Everybody knows what everybody stands for. Every country stands for. We know what they stand for. So I'll say this trend of Iran threatening to strike America was exactly the same trend when Hassan Saddam continuously boosted to deal with Americans. But when American firepower came knocking the door of Iraq, Saddam went, went into a rabbit, hmm, rabbit hole to hide an American fish team out of the hole. The rest is history. Iran can never match America in terms of firepower. However, I appeal to both countries to share their sword because war is not uh, a tea party. Exactly, exactly. So they should know how to 
go about the whole thing so that there will be peace because that is all what we want that is what all we are craving for but like i said everybody knows everybody's uh, antecedents so the best thing is just to sit on round table and make sure that all of these things are put behind them that is the only way to go someone says trump is fighting for the old christian and for the old world thank god for trump's action and someone say the forthcoming war is long overdue the war should start and any part of nigeria that puts their hand or support should be wiped as well enough of all this rubbish we don't pray for war at all because it will cost christians and muslims war we don't pray for war we we pray for peace we pray for peace to reign someone say nigeria will definitely be affected if it escalates to world war the policies of elites will come to play in other words you will either choose who to support and be the enemy of the other or get crushed why wouldn't nigeria be safe are we at war with Iran? No, we are not at war. But people who are crying more than they believe and they are beginning to protest onto what? What is your business about what happened? You are not protest on the bad governance that we have in the country. They will not do that. You can imagine that people, when they talk about good governance, talk about your own life, how your life will be better. People will not come out. Tell them to come out. They will not come out. But see what they are coming out for. We have seen people who have been coming out for, you know, for good governance in this country. When you see them coming out, how many? They are no more than 10. And we have millions of people in Nigeria. But something that is not really even affecting us, even the things that are affecting them, you know, when it comes to insecurity, what is affecting them, they will not come at you. You'll be surprised that where are these people? Does it mean they are comfortable with all of uh, these things that have been happening? But see what they are coming out for. Something that will make your life to be better, to, for you to have a good life. You will not come out for all of those things. So, guys, let's hear your own take with this uh, Trump statement. And just like the writer was asking that is it gonna affect a, is it gonna affect a Nigeria in any way? You know, judging from what America has already prepared or what they have budgeted or spent on their equipment, do you think it's gonna affect us as a nation? In what way? You know, people have said their mind, we've made our own submission. Let's hear your own take. Bye.